Center. On behalf of the management of the facility, welcome to the Heritage Center. The Heritage Center has been here for about 10 years and it was a result of a decision by GM to compile all the cars that existed within all the divisions of GM. At one time all the divisions were very autonomous and they competed against each other and they, and they kept all their records very separate. But they decided that it was time to make a corporate fleet and it took them about two or three years because people were hiding things and um, didn't want to give it up. And, uh, but they found out they had over 700 vehicles in um, several states being stored for 50, 60, 75 years. And um, so they pared down the collection. They made a list of all the GM milestones, what's important to the corporate history, and they kept those cars that were um, important to the, um, that represented those milestones. They sold off the duplicates and the, and the cars that weren't true to production history. We sometimes keep cars that had been modified for one reason or another. So they sold those off. So every car in the collection is here for a reason. There's something significant about every car that's in the collection. Right now the collection runs around 450. It sometimes goes, it ebbs up and, and sometimes they, um, it ebbs down. But right now it's around 450 and that's where we like to keep it. It's actually a little bit higher, I have to say but we like to keep it at 450. On the floor we usually have about 165 of those vehicles. So when cars get called to show or to be um, lent to other museums or they're gonna be gone for a while, we'll just pull from inventory and fill that hole in our spot, so on our floor. So um, every time you come here, there's gonna be a little bit, uh, some of the cars are gonna be able to in addition to being a showroom for the beautiful collection, we have two other purposes here at the Heritage Center. One is to be a conferencing center. We do um, meetings and events um, almost daily. Our third function is to serve as a repository for archival information. And so we are a research center for many different publics, everyone from enthusiasts all the way up to our own um, internal staff and media um, and um, magazines and we just um, get calls every day. We do um, want to remind you of our one rule and our one rule is please don't touch the vehicles. Please try to go around the rows instead of between the vehicles if at all possible and um, help us in our preservation uh, efforts by not touching.